안녕하세요. 저는 um, Admir Bayrami in i m n i d a I am a program director for uh, Concern Worldwide in Turkey. So um, what happened is we're talking about a catastrophic event, um, something that was unprecedented um, and um, in the process it affected 11 provinces of uh, Turkey. And when you look at those 11 provinces, it's the, it's the size of South Korea. That's how big it was. Only that area that was affected by the earthquake. And unfortunately, it, uh, it took lives of over 50,000 people. So this event was um, absolutely catastrophic. Initially, what happened was a lot of people started living in what we could call informal settlements or creating tents. where they could live uh, together. Um, also, in the process of this one year, what has been done is uh, transition from tents into containers. Currently, in, in those uh, containers is uh, some 750,000 people that remain in containers. The early recovery and recovery in general from something uh, big like this, uh, you can see it that um, it's currently Uh, happening by the authorities in terms of trying to remove debris and uh, uh, build uh, some infrastructure but um, I believe that it will take some some more time uh, to actually rebuild. We as a, as a, as a concern take a, take a holistic approach so for example what you see behind me in for example a food basket that was provided by uh, generous donations from South Korea. Um, this is one aspect of food security. So when it's immediately after the earthquake, when people need assistance, that's immediately after, you will get a box. And if there is a situation later when we do market assessments, we check have the markets or shops started working. And if they're available, Then in those cases, we would think about providing be it cash or vouchers in one form or another to help people go and buy themselves, which also helps the local economy. We have local partners, uh, organizations that have been in Turkey and that we have been partnering with for six or seven years. So it's all about working with the local local people who have very good understanding of the community, they know the community and uh, we're doing a lot of work together. Sure, it's a very deep question. <laughs> I think the first question for me is why did I get into the industry? Like why did I want to become a humanitarian? And uh, being someone who is originally from Kosovo, which went through its own uh, conflict in the, in the late 90s um, is something that uh, that made made me um, aspire to help other people with humanitarian assistance because I've experienced something uh, myself what motivates me as a, as a, as a question is um, first of all seeing people that they are receiving assistance they are receiving assistance in a, in a good quality and that they're happy with our programs because That's what our purpose is, is to serve the communities, to help those who are most vulnerable. They are very familiar with, uh, with Korean uh, people um, and they refer to each other as brothers and sisters. Um, so yeah, they, they had big, uh, um, big appreciation for everything that has, been, that has been done. From the bottom of my heart, Kamsa Hamida, thank you. <laughs>